there are definitely some differences between this and the Walgo 2S. I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask like, which one should I get, which one's better. After having ridden this, I think it's very clear that you should get the... A lot of people have been leaving comments asking if they should get the Meepo version 2 or the Walgo 2S. I wanted to make a more comprehensive video about this, but that would take a lot of time, and I know a lot of you are waiting for the answer. So let me just give you my thoughts right now. I'll first talk about the Walgo. I actually haven't done a review video about the Walgo 2S, but many other YouTube channels have. They all gave very positive reviews and used the word smooth to describe the control, and I would agree with that. It does have some weak areas though, so let me quickly go through them. First, it doesn't have smart turn on, meaning you can't turn on the board by just pushing it. You have to get down and push a button. This feature is certainly not the most important thing to consider, but it is something that you would use every single time that you ride, if it were available. Second, the brakes cannot keep the board in place on a gentle slope. So let's say you're at a red light and you're waiting for it to turn green. If the ground is not completely level, the board will move forward or backward, even if you have the brakes fully engaged. This does not mean that the brakes are weak, it just doesn't have the feature that locks the wheels when you brake at a full stop. Again, not the most important thing to consider because you can just put your foot down, but it is a feature that you would use every single time that you ride, if it were available. The biggest weakness of the Walgo 2S, in my opinion, is that you can't really go crazy with it. It is a very smooth ride, but sometimes you just want to go faster, you just have that need for speed and want to ride like a madman. For example, with the Booster Board Dual Plus, you can accelerate insanely fast, but you don't have to. However, when you want to, you have that option. With the Wago 2S, you don't get that option. Smooth is the only option. In fact, in all three speed modes on the Wago 2S, the acceleration feels about the same. The only difference is the top speed. I'm not saying that the Wago 2S is slow, it's definitely not slow. But it's also not going to give you that boosted board experience where you can ride really aggressively. So this is where the Meepo version 2 comes in. It does not give you the boosted board experience either, but it's closer. It has four speed modes, and the first three modes give you relatively smooth acceleration and braking. And when you want to go crazy, you can go into the fourth mode, which they call the Pro Mode. And in the Pro Mode, you really have to be careful with the throttle, especially on takeoff, because the board could fly out from under you. You have to squat down and lean forward quite a bit. It takes some practice to get right. And like the boosted board, you have this option to go faster than you normally would, but you don't have to. It's an available option for when you want it. Most of the time, the Eco Mode and Expert Mode are probably more appropriate. But sometimes you just want to flip the switch and turn on the afterburners, and with the Meepo version 2, you have that option. So am I saying that the Meepo version 2 is better than the Wago 2S? No, it really depends on what you're after. If you want a board that has a comfortable flexi deck, and is great for cruising around, I would definitely choose the Wago 2S. In fact, for just leisurely cruising around, I would even say that the Wago is a better option than Boosted. But the Meepo has its advantages also. The smart turn on, the parking brakes, and most importantly, the availability of the crazy mode for when you want it. There are some disadvantages also. For just casual cruising, some people may feel that the deck is too stiff. And for precision control, Wago's remote is going to give you more precision. But I should point out that the Meepo version 2 remote is, in my opinion, a big improvement over the Meepo 1.5 remote. It's just not as good as the Wago remote when it comes to precision. So which one is better? That really depends on you. Do you want a board that's more suitable for aggressive riding? Or do you want a board that's more appropriate for casual cruising? I can't answer that for you, but I hope I've given you some insight to help you make your decision. And just to make things more complicated, you might also want to consider the onboard W1S. 